Hello and welcome back to my Pokemon Horizons review series. Today we are reviewing episode 63 and I hope you enjoy. So the gang arrive at Glassado Gym for the third and final implementation test where Liko will be facing Grusha. This place was a lot of fun, we see a bunch of Citadel playing in the snow and people using them to go snowboarding down the snowy mountains and there was just some good vibes here. And since Grusha isn't quite ready, the trio of course used this time to go snowboarding on the Citadel. Liko at first was a bit hesitant since she wants to prepare for her battle and not get caught up in having fun. But the snowboarding definitely looked like a lot of fun. That was until Liko nearly goes off a cliffside and has to be helped out by Sprigatito. Oh wait, it was just a tiny little drop down which was actually hilarious. But Grusha catches Liko out here snowboarding and we see a bit more conflict. He says Liko must be confident if she's out here goofing off before her battle. And it was just a really interesting dynamic as we knew that this wasn't really Liko's idea. But the addition to Grusha in this episode was great. I love his characterization. He has this stern, icy cold personality. And going all the way back to Price, I love these kind of characters. Strict, all about results and it just contrasted so well with how Liko is. And we learn why Grusha is like this, he was a snowboarding champion, he won all these tournaments at a young age but then suffered a leg injury which stopped his career and created this icy cold personality that we now see. And this is when he turned to Pokemon battles instead and got massive success but lost his smile. It was a really cool backstory and really did remind me of Price from Johto who was so youthful and happy when battling until he had his incident where he thought Piloswine left him and became bitter and icy. And I just love how they have these ice cold personalities for the ice gym leaders, it's just a really cool gimmick. But they went in a different direction with this one, it wasn't Liko trying to teach Grusha the fun in battling, how to smile again, all these typical things we've seen before. Grusha is just like this, there's no changing him in a battle, he wants to see results, so Liko just has to do her best in this 2 on 2 battle. And the battle itself was pretty good, we get to see Grusha's Satitan in action with its giant body and layers of fat protecting it. Sprigatito trying to use its speed to gain advantage. We see a bit more of Hatrem which was nice with it using a few moves being Confusion and Brutal Swing. I think similar to Killer Watchall it got taken out pretty easily. I do wish they did a bit more with the secondary Pokemon and gave them a bit more focus. Grusha returns to Titan and brings out Altaria and we get a face off with it and Sprigatito and we get some on her toes thinking from Liko where it feels like she's actually making Grusha respect some of the stuff she's doing, grabbing Altaria's feet with Sprigatito's vines, slamming it to the ground and Liko gets excited and decides it's time to terrestrialize. I don't think this was a bad time to do it, she was starting to gain a bit of momentum but unfortunately Grusha does the exact same thing and it just kind of becomes a standoff between Ice Beam and Magical Leaf. And I love the animation as the Ice Beam rips through, freezing Sprigatito, knocking it out, and winning Grusha the battle. Liko not even managing to take down one of his Pokemon. Liko battled okay, I was pretty curious whether she'd pass this or not, because she did a lot of the right things, she wasn't brash, she was quite smart, she tried to get the timing of things right, but in the end Grusha was just too strong for her and she ends up failing. With Grusha saying you lost, don't even joke about getting past when you lost the battle. The icy coldness of Grusha telling Liko straight that it is only the result that matters. I really like the direction they've gone here. I feel like Liko's performance wasn't bad at all. She could have performed like this against an early gym leader and still passed. Maybe it's because Grusha is the final gym leader. But Grusha even says that there are no do-overs, that is it, you fail. She won't get another chance like Roy did. So I have no idea what's going to happen next. It looks like they are staying in this snowy area, but I can't tell from the episode titles if Liko will actually get a rematch or not. So for now, I guess she has failed this test. But this episode was really solid. I like how real it feels. You can try your hardest, you can give your all into this battle and still lose without really doing anything major wrong. Sometimes the stronger trainer just wins. Liko put her heart into the battle and still lost. It just adds more layers of development for her moving forward. And I can't wait to see what's next for all of them. Looks like the explorers are coming back into the picture. So that should be pretty interesting. But for this one, it was fun. A solid battle. Some good motivation for Liko to keep getting stronger. I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10.
Let me know your thoughts. What is your rating out of 10? Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.